Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the hiatus, but I'm back today with my favorite and most expensive shoe yet. These are the Axel Arigato Dice Lows. I was actually trying to get my hands on these for about a year. I was struggling to find them in my size and I was also trying to save the money for them because they are more expensive than most pairs. And then one day my girlfriend actually surprised me with them for my birthday. So a big shout out to her for helping me get my hands on these. And anyway, let's get on with the video. Axel Arigato is a luxury brand founded in 2014. The brand is known for mixing Japanese and Scandinavian minimalism into their designs. They were founded in Sweden by Max Ford and Albin Johansson. I'm sorry about the pronunciation, but I'm trying my best. Max started his journey in the fashion industry when he was only 17. He would import jeans from Japan into Sweden and that led to him starting his first e-commerce website. Albin graduated from the Gothenburg School of Economics, which is where he started his entrepreneurial journey. He owned a company called Sanctimonia. It's a water brand that would donate a percentage of its profits to charities around the world. He then went into product management for a couple different companies before him and Max founded Axel Arigato. In an interview with Kaleo Magazine, Max paid tribute to their first store in Soho, London, which opened up in August 2016. He noted that introducing the brand into the London community was a real turning point, and to this day, it continues to be one of their strongest markets. They collaborate with a Swedish design studio, Hollerod, sorry for the pronunciation, I am trying my best, who were founded in 1998. They have collaborated with other major brands such as Acne Studios, to create inviting and transformative spaces in the physical stores. Here's a quick look at some of their designs. The brand is also Ford focused on sustainability. They spend a lot of time researching the best ways to keep waste down. One way they do this is by keeping the full process of manufacturing in Europe. They gather their supplies from Italy for their shoes and they produce them in Portugal. They've partnered with Beacom and the Swedish Textile Initiative for Climate Action or Stika to better understand the life cycle of their products. This is just one of the many ways that they're looking to reduce their carbon footprint. Anyway guys, that's a brief summary of the brand's history. If you'd like a more in-depth video, then drop a comment below and let me know. But for now, let's get on to the shoe. The Dyslow sneaker has a vintage inspired design. The upper is made from a combination of nubuck and Italian leather. This creates a durable yet soft feeling to the leather, helping it from being overly restricting. It has a textured branded rubber sole, partly made out of recycled rubber to attribute towards their sustainability and they've used post-consumer recycled polyester for the lining. The surface of the leather will actually rub away with use to give it that worn look, which I think is a really cool touch as they're not made to look pristine, helping me feel more comfortable wearing these shoes more often. I've owned them for over a year now, which is why mine are looking a little worse for wear, but I can honestly say these are my favorite shoes I've ever owned. As you can see, the sole is thin, giving it a sleek look yet they aren't compromising the comfort. And as I mentioned earlier, the leather is soft and has a little give to it. I'm usually a US 13, but I actually own these in a US 12. For me, this was an accidental yet perfect decision because it's given me that snug fitted look and feel to the shoe. Initially, they were a little restricting, but after a couple uses, the leather loosened up and molded to my feet, and now they fit perfectly. This shoe has such a unique feel to it with its design. Using different shades of green gives the shoe more depth. A small touch, yet a very effective one. It has gold branding on the upper and the inner sole of the shoe to give it a little bit of flair. And interestingly, the size tags on the outside of the tongue, displayed to the world so everyone can see my size US 12 shoes. The sole has a large arigato written on the bottom of them, which I think is a really nice touch because it's a way to leave your little thank you anywhere you go. The details of the stitching are also something I'm very fond of as they accentuate the features of the shoe and create more depth to it. Anyway, that's enough talking about the shoe. It's time to show you how they look on the feet because as you know, shoes always look different on the shelf than they do on the feet.
how good do these shoes look? I love these shoes personally and would highly recommend everyone to get themselves a pair. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a size US 13, but I've got these in a size US 12, going down a full size. I'd recommend this if you want a snug feel to the shoe, but if you're looking for that little bit of toe room, then I would recommend staying true to size. Now, I wouldn't call these the most comfortable sneaker in the world, but for a flat sole sneaker, they look as clean as they are comfortable. At the moment, these are retailing for around 150 to 250 USD. That's about 230 to 400 New Zealand dollars, depending on the colorway you choose, on sites like Sense and Farfetch, or you can look at sticking to the original Axel Arigato website where they're a little more expensive, but they offer more colorways in more sizes. I'll leave the links in the description for all of these websites if you're wanting to check these shoes out. Anyway guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below your thoughts on this video and any suggestions you have for me in the future. I'm planning to do some different videos in the future, looking more in depth at the history of some of my favorite brands, but I'm still going to come out with some of these shoe reviews for you. Although I have strayed away from the dad shoe as you would have seen in my past videos, as I'm now looking more at the white sneaker. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.